In a kingdom, there was an emperor who was especially fond of wearing very good-looking clothes. For every hour, every day, the emperor needed to change new clothes. I am so furious. The new clothes made by these tailors are the same. I almost don't have anything new to wear. You already have so many clothes. You see, you don't go to the garden, to the theater. You always stay in the dressing room and you have too many clothes to get changed. Those clothes are not pretty enough. I am an emperor. I want the most beautiful clothes so everyone will prize me at the sight of them. Your Majesty, two people have came to our kingdom claiming they are the best tailors and they can make the most beautiful clothes for your Majesty. Ha! Take them to me immediately. These two people were immediately taken to the palace. The emperor and his ministers didn't know they were both cheaters who knew nothing about how to weave or make clothes. The two cheaters were determined to cheat the foolish emperor. Your majesty, do you want the best looking clothes in the world? We can wear such a cloth and use it to make the most beautiful new clothes for your majesty. Really? Can you? Will everyone praise me for the new clothes you make? Of course. Your Majesty, for the clothes we weave, apart from having very beautiful colors and patterns, there is one special magic trait. Only the qualified and the wise can see the clothes we weave. The foolish cannot see this kind of clothes. It's too amazing. I must have these new clothes. Then I can know. Who is competent and who is foolish? The emperor was so excited. However, the two cheaters looked embarrassed. Your Majesty, to wave these clothes, we need plenty of gold thread and jewels. You understand, the clothes are very precious. Definitely some valuable materials are needed. It doesn't matter. I am the emperor. The new clothes shall also be the most precious. For the gold thread and jewels, you can have as much as you want. All right, All right your, your majesty, majesty. <laughs> we, we will, will wave, wave as soon as, soon as possible. possible. The cheaters took a lot of gold, silver and jewels and were so happy. They had jewels and stood in the front of the waving machine, pretending they were waving day and night. The clothes we wave are the best. <laughs> and the clothes we wave are the most wonderful. <laughs> the emperor was eager to know when the new clothes would be completed, but was worried what to do in case he couldn't see the clothes. The emperor dispatched two ministers to have a look first. Ah, two ministers, come and have a look. Are the clothes patterned pretty or not? 
Have a look at the patterns and the colors of the clothes. How beautiful and how wonderful it is. There is there there is nothing on this wavy machine. Uh, all right, they said that the fool cannot see this kind of clothes. No, no, I cannot let others know that I, the old minister, I'm a I'm a fool. I cannot see. I'm not qualified as a minister. Oh my God! No, no, no. I cannot let others know that I cannot see this cloth. Excuse me, are you satisfied with these clothes? Yes, yes, they are so beautiful. I'm uh, very satisfied. The emperor will be very happy to see the clothes and um, will reward you. The two ministers returned and vividly described to the emperor how beautiful the magical clothes were. Upon hearing what the two ministers said, the emperor was very happy and ran to the palace of the two cheaters. However, the emperor was very stuttered that the waving machine was empty. My god, I can't see anything. My ministers told me that it was very beautiful. Your Majesty, have a look. Your new clothes have been made. See the pretty patterns? You will definitely be prized. <laughs> pretty, very pretty. I am the emperor, and I cannot let them know that I can't see. Your Majesty, do you like these clothes? <laughs> uh, mm. Uh, they are so pretty. I shall not appreciate such a good look in new clothes alone. I shall hold a Prada ceremony so that all the people in my kingdom can see them. The Prada ceremony was about to begin soon. The cheaters circled around the emperor pretending to wear the new clothes for his majesty. The emperor was naked, leading his ministers to commence the Prada. People stood on both sides of the street and were very happy. Why can't I see the new clothes of the emperor? Ha! Huh? I cannot let anyone know. Huh? The new clothes of the emperor are really pretty. I cannot see, but they all say that the new clothes are pretty. I shall say so. <laughs> the new clothes of the emperor are really pretty. How slow it is. Everyone was afraid. They would be taken as a fools because they couldn't see the magical new clothes. Thus, everyone prized that the emperor's new clothes were pretty. The emperor was so proud. The emperor was naked <laughs> and walked around the street happily at this moment. Shame! The emperor doesn't wear clothes! My precious son, how could you say that the emperor doesn't wear clothes? But uh, he is not wearing any clothes indeed. The emperor doesn't wear clothes. The emperor doesn't wear clothes. Ah, maybe the emperor really doesn't wear clothes. 
Yes, I cannot see any clothes. The emperor doesn't wear clothes. Why doesn't he say that he wear clothes? The discussions of the crowd become louder and louder. Finally, all the people say that the emperor didn't wear clothes. The emperor also hear this. What they said seems to be right. I seem to be not wearing clothes. Oh, no. I am the emperor. I must finish the prod. Then the emperor put on a prouder air and walk in the front. His loyal ministers followed behind, helping the emperor hold the tail of the clothes that didn't exist. Well, can you answer the question below? Why did the ministers and the emperor insist that they see the clothes? One, because they really saw them. Second, because they didn't want to let others think that they are fools. Or because they didn't want to make others sad. <laughs> well, thank you for listening.